Um, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome. I'm um, just trying to share this on my page and so then I can uh, start. But if you've got some comments and suggestions and questions that you have about this, we can um, certainly share that um, and answer some of the questions. And one of the things I've been trying to do over the past couple of, uh, couple of hours is just really to verify the information because there's lots of, uh, there's lots of fake, fake news out there for me say, so let me just get comfortable there's lots of fake news out there people are putting stuff out and you know i had people in pakistan uh, tell me that the authorities had said there was um there was flights were back on and they had somehow reached an agreement and uh, flights were back on so just a bit of background about what's going to happen and then we'll take some of your questions and hopefully inshallah about quarter past 10 i'm hoping kamran bizada who's got lots of um a lot of experience of Pakistani politics, current affairs, and uh, what's going on there. And the sort of background that I think there is uh, that this applies to, and particularly in Pakistan, you've got a, a situation where in terms of safety and security after the dreadful uh, Karachi terrorist attack that happened, uh, sorry, terrorist attack, uh, forgive me, the Karachi, I've been talking about the uh, stock exchange attack for the past few, uh, for the day or so, so that's been on my mind. And no, I mean the Karachi plane crash um, in which it was a PI flight um, in terms of error on the part of the pilot. And as a result of that, we, we, we had the report, didn't we, this week, in which uh, the aviation minister uh, of Pakistan had said that PIA flights, basically, PIA pilots have got dodgy licenses, they haven't got the right certificate, they possibly haven't done the right test, not on all of them, but there's a significant amount of them that don't have that experience, and therefore the decision was taken um, uh, to suspend, I think it was around 225, um, I'm just gonna share this, sorry, on my uh, public page, and then uh, you've got, uh, I'm, all, uh, I'm all on you. Um, so let me just share this there, and then we are done. Um, here we are, let's go. Okay, so that's telling me we are live. Um, so yeah, so, so, so that's where we started the situation um, was that the PIA uh, flight crashed and as a consequence of that you had Airbus whose plane it was um, they had a legal responsibility because uh, to, uh, to support the investigation and to look at the evidence and the plane flight recorders were sent back to they were sent back to Paris and in Paris they were investigated and the circumstances around that and, and there's quite a lot of evidence about the fact that the pilot himself, and I look, I'm not, I'm not an a aviation expert, but based just on that report, it, it's, clear that it's clear that there was errors on the parts of the pilot um, and also in terms of, um, you know, in terms of safety and, uh, and the, the tower at Karachi Airport and how that... Uh, if people are messaging me on uh, my public page, please don't message me, I'm live. Come on here, talk to me here, and post your comments on here. We'll go through them uh, as we uh, get there very, very soon. Um, it's obviously a big, big issue in Pakistan. And so that's, we had the report, and the report more or less blamed the pilot and blamed the, the sort of uh, air traffic controllers at Karachi Airport for the crash. And then one of the things that happened since then is that it's transpired. This has always been happening with PIA. And that their pilots, 225, at least 225 pilots had fake licenses. Many of them didn't actually, um, I thought it was posting that, but clearly not posting. Um, many of them hadn't even sat their pilot exams. And obviously for, for, for PIA or any other airline to flare, fly into EU, European Union, or the United Kingdom airspace, they have to be of the same standard in terms of safety and security as planes that are based here. So Air France, KLM, British Airways, Emirates, Etihad. Their safety record has to be the same, not necessarily the service they provide uh, on the plane. Um, it, it's, um, um, so, so that doesn't really happen. I'm trying to get distracted by some of the comments coming in. I promise I'll come to your comments in a very short while. And, 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 and so that what, that's what's required for PIA to fly into the European Union, to fly into the United Kingdom, they have to be of the same um, standard in terms of safety and security. 
And as a result of the fact that there was uh, question marks about the licenses of the pilots, it now transpires, sorry, it's not working, um, it now transpires that um, what people thought was speculation is actually quite true. Um, and we'll talk about it in a very short while about um, why this is a big job for Imran Khan and it's not necessarily his fault. Um, it, there, it's a fault of governments, successive governments, the People's Party government, the Pakistan Muslim League, um, and to an extent uh, Pervez Musharraf, who was the uh, uh, military dictator for so many years. So it goes back decades. And we'll talk about that just to give you a bit of background, but then more importantly talk about what's happening now. Lots of fake news out there, lots of people claiming that PI authorities, and I had a friend who's in Pakistan saying to me, no, 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 I've just spoken to the authorities there, the government have confirmed that the planes uh, are allowed to land tomorrow. Um, I've had a conversation with the British Civil Aviation Authority. I shared the post as well, didn't I? Um, I shared that on my, uh, on, on my page. I hope I did anyway. And let me just get this. Sorry, I'm just trying to share this and it's just not working. Um, so what we um, want to do. So, sorry, I'm getting distracted. I should really be concentrating on you at home. So what we had the situation was that the plane safety record flying into the European Union and, and British Air, uh, Britain into the United Kingdom, that the authorities felt, uh, that the safety authorities felt that PIA couldn't guarantee the safety and security of the passengers. And therefore, they were left with no other options to, um, to suspend the flights for a period of six months. So anybody who's got a flight um, to Pakistan from the United Kingdom and the European Union, the European Union is 27 countries, now that Britain has left, but because we're still part of, we're in the transition period of joining or leaving the European Union, so we're still, uh, we're still connected to that, and so therefore the decision by the European authorities is something that the British authorities, Civil Aviation Authority, have said they're going to do. So that's where we are in terms of that decision. Now that uh, decision wasn't made today. The decision was made uh, yesterday, and before that there was ample opportunities for the Pakistani government to give that reassurance around their pilots and their safety record um, to the authorities, and therefore this ban wouldn't have come in. And my sources who I've spoken to at the Civil Aviation Authority, for those who don't know, they're the responsible body for, uh, for safety, uh, aviation safety for planes, for everybody coming into the country and leaving the country, airspace, the airplanes, the airports, the companies, all of that uh, comes under the Civil Aviation Authority. They're the sort of legal body responsible for safety of aviation. And they were clear that Pakistan was given ample opportunities the PIA was given ample opportunities to, to provide sufficient evidence to say that they had, one, they had a grip of it, so that they had, yes, we've identified 100 people, we've suspended 100 people, we've verified that there's another 100 pilots, their licenses are legit, and the fact that they've had their, they've had their tests done, and they've sat their exams, and they are genuine pilots. But these 125, we can't guarantee that, so therefore we're going to um, suspend them and they won't have anything to do that now PIA did suspend a number of pilots but it's they weren't able to provide that safeguard and, and, and assurances to the authorities and they were left they, they the, the authorities were left with no other option the very it's, it's like the nuclear option it's the extreme option that when PIA um, you know or any airline doesn't meet the safety standards expected by the authorities in Europe and the United Kingdom then they're left with no other option but to say to them, I'm sorry, we're going to we're going to suspend you and suspend you for six months. Now what that means that, that, that no plane uh, Pakistan International Airline flights from um, Pakistan or anywhere else in the world, that's a key point. Uh, the Pakistanis tried to get away and thought they could fly to a different country and then into the European Union. Uh, no. PIA registered flights, PIA, uh, PK, whatever, um, are banned from the European Union and the United Kingdom from today. This afternoon that, that, that ban came in. I know there was a flight this afternoon, this early evening, that flight left today. But after that there is no flight 
uh, from the United Kingdom to Pakistan or from Pakistan to the United Kingdom via PIA. You can still travel on Ittahad or Emirates, but again, you have the same problem uh, with Ittahad and Emirates that their inbound flights to Pakistan are full of Pakistani citizens going back home who've been stranded in Dubai or uh, Abu Dhabi or wherever. And then when the flight coming back from Pakistan, um, they're not allowed, outbound flights are not allowed either at the moment. I, I think that's changing in the next few days. But what's often really, I don't annoy with Pakistan is that they make an announcement, then they cancel, then they make an announcement. So it's constantly changing and there's that in, uh, uncertainty. Now, what um, my understanding is that they've got the right of appeal, they can appeal the decision, um, um, but they've got to base that appeal on the fact that the authorities who took the decision didn't have the evidence or misinterpreted the law and the rules and regulations or that they, they provide enough uh, guarantees to say that they've, um, you know, the, the safety records improved around their pilots um, and they've verified their pilots up to international standards, then there is a chance that they could actually be uh, readmitted and allowed, but I don't anticipate that to be um, in the immediate future. And because of the seriousness of the crash, this is not the first crash in Pakistan, there's been a number of incidents, not just with PIA or, or Air Blue and um, other airlines as well, that they, it's got an atrocious safety record. And you know, which pilot in any mind, and I, again, I'm not going to talk about the individual pilot um, in the Karachi uh, plane crash, because I think that would be really unfair. And I've not really read the reports or wouldn't know, but from what I've heard, uh, other commentators and, and journalists say that he was um, he didn't obey the rules, he didn't follow the rules, he was going too fast. The air traffic controller, for example, were making mistakes as well. So this is not just about individual planes or individual pilots, it's actually about the whole um, aviation safety standards in Pakistan. And that's been going on for decades. Uh, if you look at Pakistan International Airlines, and you talk to some of our elders, and if there's people who want to uh, certainly share their thoughts and experiences about this, that would be really powerful as well. But in the sort of 60s and 70s, PIA was the creme de la creme airline. It was the best. It was the airline which, in which members of the royal family in the Middle East would want to travel in. Um, it, you know, it was very popular. Its service was very good. And it, it was of a very high standard. And what's happened since then, 60s and 70s, is you've had successive governments who've politicised that airline. They've made it into a cash cow. They, the corruption from the top to the bottom in that airline is massive. It's massive from the air hostess to their managers. And, and let me just say, I've got friends who are, I, I have colleagues and friends in Pakistan who I know as really trusted and reliable people who uh, happen to work for PIA, so I'm not saying everybody in PI is corrupt, but I'm saying that the systematic uh, institutions and the structures are designed for corruption. There's corruption in the facility of foods. There's corruption in the sourcing of tickets, like we've seen, uh, I don't know if people have seen in the last few days, um, the sort of massive amount of money which PIA staff were making from tickets. Um, the PIA was cancelling tickets that people had return journeys and forcing them to buy a new ticket. But what travel agents were doing in Sialkot, they were selling the ticket that had been cancelled. Instead of cancelling it, they were reissuing it and charging the customer eight, nine hundred pound and pocketing the money. And, and that's the sort of thing that's going on. It's a safety issue. Now, I, I, I make a confession. Uh, I go to Pakistan every year. Um, when I go to Pakistan, I generally, uh, over the last few years, have always traveled with PIA. One, because it's, uh, it's an overnight flight and it's straight there. And, 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 and when I've got meetings uh, with ministers and I've got uh, engagements in Pakistan when I, when I get to Islamabad, that I don't really have time to go by a different country. Um, and so I, I do that. But when I, when, I, when I travel with my family, my, travel, my family traveled a couple uh, years ago, um, I went by Emirates just because of the safety standards, yes, and also we wanted to stop over in Dubai. And, and, and so it's, it's, it's a very serious issue that goes, by, goes back decades. Now, the, the, uh, um, the unions 
um, who have become, and, and don't think that the PIA trade unions are like our trade unions here. Uh, they fight for rules and regulation and health and safety. These guys don't shout for that. Basically, they're, they're in there. They're, they've ended up in a job for life. You'll get somebody who's appointed as director of health and safety, hasn't got any health and safety uh, requirements, hasn't got any qualifications, hasn't got any experience. He could be an ex-judge. He could be an ex-political advisor. Zadani Saab and Musharraf and Nawaz Sharif and Shabash Sharif um, and all the, the sort of political class would appoint these people into these positions and they had no qualification and background and then when the government left these people would still be in the institutions pakistan has had something like eight um ceos uh, chief executive officers they've had an atrocious safety record and if you ever travel on pi which i did last year um the food is atrocious the seats are absolutely minging there's no entertainment and you're in a situation where people cannot comfortably travel. Uh, it's okay for some of us who are who likes to think that we're young and can you know can survive sitting down for eight hours. But some of the elders, I was traveling with my mother-in-law, um, and she was very uncomfortable in those seats. They weren't comfortable at all, uh, and it was a difficult journey for her, uh, as it is for many other people. So um, this goes back decades, and and so don't let's not put this at the door of Imran Khan and his government. I think this goes back to the institution of PIA, the bureaucracy, which is full of corruption. Um, and they're the people who, um, to be fair to Nawaz Sharif, in the last government, they, he did try, he started a process of trying to change uh, the airline, but was pushed back by, this, by these gangsters, these, you know, these corrupt people who were appointed by successive governments, including his own. Um, and, and there was no safety whatsoever uh, in regards to that. So that, for me, I, I, in essence, is where we are. It's an absolute disgrace, and I think it's wake-up time uh, for PIA and for the government, the Pakistani government, Imran Khan and his ministers, to really step up and say, uh, you know, this is the wake-up call that they need. Um, they will lose a lot of money. Pakistan International Airlines will lose a lot of money by these flights not being run. Um, and the fact that they've been banned and the publicity uh, that, that, that they've got over these past few weeks, particularly since the crash in Karachi, um, is going to damage them massively in, in regards to where, where their standing is. And so if you value safety, if you value health and, sa health and safety, comfort, um, a good airline, with a good reputation and you you know you don't want to hack back to what life was like in the 60s and 70s because you'll never be the same because now you've got more competition um one of the things that the pakistan authorities and governments did which i think damaged pia was they opened their airspace to um you know a, a sky free agreement allowing other airlines in to their country without having uh, the ability for their planes, for PIA planes, to fly into Dubai uh, on the same scale and on the same, uh, you know, level. And that was a big criticism as well of the authorities, respectively, who basically spent, you know, they spent a, a long time, you know, building up a reputation and then suddenly uh, corrupt practices, there were backhanders that were given to people and they ended up basically... <laughs> Uh, allowing all these Ittihad, Emirates, Qatar, Oman, um, Gulf Air, uh, all the uh, Turkish airlines, all these airlines have been basically allowed to come back in and um, take advantage of Pakistani airspace and Pakistan facilities. And they haven't had the same agreement the other way. And basically, you know, a corrupt institution uh, that is decaying, it, it's, it's bleeding billions of rupees. Uh, in, in money, and you, you could just see it. I mean, I, as I said, I was traveling there last year, and you could see it in the food that was provided. Um, you know, at least sometimes you get a, a decent meal sometimes, and sometimes you don't. But you just saw everything going down. Everything was kind of, you know, it's not even, you know, they say in Pakistan, third class. It's not even third class. You wouldn't even, you know, allow animals to travel in that sort of airplane. And the arrogance of the staff the mood swings, the violence sometimes that are shown to passengers, uh, and the fact that they're a rip-off merchant. And for years, 
because people have wanted to be able to get to Pakistan quickly. So some people might have a situation that uh, a parent's died, a grandparent's died, or there's a family emergency and they've got to get to Pakistan. There's a funeral that they've got to go to. And, um, you know, they can't afford to go by Abu Dhabi or, or Dubai or Qatar or Doha. And they just want to fly, fly straight to Islamabad or Lahore or Karachi uh, so that they can get there for the funeral in the morning. And that, for me, uh, has been a very, um, you know, uh, satisfying thing for, for grieving parents and greening, you know, people, passengers who need to get there early morning. One, because of the weather, it's very hot in the country, um, you know, and you want to be able to get there, there in sufficient time so you can attend the funeral uh, before the burial. In some cases, you have people from here taking their loved ones bury, uh, because family's back home uh, um, and PIA kind of allows you to take bodies. But generally speaking, it's, it's, it's a corrupt institution from top to bottom. And, and yes, from time to time, you've seen individuals that have been brought in um, you know, by, by governments, uh, including this government, P, uh, People's Part, uh, sorry, PTI, Pakistan Tariq and Saf Imran Khan's party, who try to bring in one individual um, who is not corrupt, who wants to make the change. But the whole institution is corrupt. And so you've got a person who's brought in to try to clean it up and he gets consumed by that corruption and, you know, the, the lobbies uh, and the people's union. I really love, uh, you know, Kamran Pizada was supposed to join us, but he's running a bit slightly late. But, you know, really um, corrupt methods that they have in terms of the institutions. And every level, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I actually, I'm not, um, I'm not lying about this. I'm really not lying. There's people on the. Uh, there's lots of you on, uh, who are watching this at this moment in time. Tell me if I'm wrong, but everything about PIA is corrupt. You know, from the staff at the counter, the person selling the tickets. You know, um, the you know the person uh, in the airport. You know, luggage checking. You know, once you get to the plane and, and the staff there, and then you get on the plane and the air hostesses and um, you know, air stewards who are absolutely appallingly in a, such a foul mood. And if you've paid eight, nine hundred pound for this ticket, the food is absolutely crap. Apologies for my language. It's atrocious. You know, I said you wouldn't even feed it to an animal. And then, you know, you ask for a glass of water and they get into a mood. You know, they, they're just in a foul mood the whole time. And if you do try to raise a complaint with them, they kind of brush you off by saying, Oh, right to Karachi, uh, why are you telling us? And, 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 and that's the standard of customer service. And as I said, I'm not here to blame PIA. Um, sorry, I'm not, I'm not here to blame PTI, the government, because they've inherited this. It's a mess. It's been a mess for decades and successive governments, rather than dealing with it, they've, the, they've increased the corruption. They're basically, to try to increase confidence in the PI institution. They've, they've appointed their own um, cronies, their own advisors, their own friends and family. It's true, check it out, uh, the record is there. And, and you know, on the, pre on the proviso that they'll bring these people in uh, and they'll slowly start changing the institutions. And that's not happened, they're not changing the institutions. What's ended up happening, what ends up happening is the person who's been brought in is corrupt anyway, because as I said, they appoint somebody as they did a few years ago as the director of health and safety. Just imagine that the person who is uh, director um, uh, of, I'm just sorry, we're distracted by Nanaji. I think Nanaji should come on uh, to CNJ and, and, and uh, we can have a chat with uh, Nanaji. So if you want to set that up, we should do it. Um, yeah, Nanaji, I'll I, I give you a plug there. Nanaji uh, on, on Instagram, really, really funny. Uh, really, really genuine. So check that out. But maybe we can get him on a bit later if he's if he's if he's not gone to bed yet. But um, I suppose Nanaji needs to read his Isha, um, and therefore he'll be awake. And so the so so the director of safety. I kid you not. It's on the record. A director of safety was appointed by the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz Sharif party when they were in government in 2013 when he came. He was appointed in 2014, I think. And this guy basically had no record in airport safety. He had no record in aviation. 
he didn't have any degrees to do in health and safety in, you know, um, that, in that arena, that industry. And basically was appointed as the head of safety for PIA. He was paid a, a, a astronomical, astonishing amount of money. Honestly, you would have to, um, well, it wouldn't surprise you anything about PIA. And, and this guy basically didn't know what he was doing. And he had the safety of planes, of thousands of passengers and his staff in his hands. And he just couldn't do anything because he didn't have the qualifications or the experience. And that's the type of airline that's um, been building up for decades. So this idea that the European Union and the United Kingdom, um, you know, is punishing Pakistan. has got, a, you know, it's pro-Indian. I've heard that as well in the last um, few hours that it's, a, you know, <laughs> they're taking the side of Modi. That's bollocks, pardon my language. It's, it's, it's bollocks because Pakistan's safety record's gone even worse over the last six months. So you, you had a point where, because they knew that they were flying into um, the European Union and they were flying into the United Kingdom, and uh, they were starting to fly into the United States, they're doing flights at the moment to New Jersey and uh, Texas and Houston, um, flights have started, that they knew that their safety record had to be top-notch. Okay, so their planes, um, as shit as they are, the safety-wise, they were safe to fly. And they were as good as any plane, um, you know, in, in the UK or Europe. And what's happened since then is because of these fake pilots' licenses and all the evidence has come out of that. And it's not come from, it's not come from foreigners. It's come from, it's come directly from the government. The aviation minister, I think his name is uh, Gulam Sarbal, um, and he... Uh, let me have a look. So, yeah, he's, a, he, he's the uh, aviation minister who's brought in, um, who's the guy that was slagging off overseas Pakistanis, basically, saying why they're complaining about playing the tortious prices they're contributing towards. Uh, P, um, here we are. Um, they, they're contributing towards Pakistan, like overseas Pakistan. I mean, we're, a, you know, like we're just a, um, you know, um, a money tree for them. Um, so I'm just getting up. What's his name? Uh, yeah, aviation minister's name is Gulam Sarwar Khan, and he was the guy. You check it up. He he was the one basically. Uh, when 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 journalists asked him, um, why are, you know, why are you why are you charging eight nine hundred pound for a ticket which people have already had a return journey, you're charging them eight nine hundred quid, and then you fly them on PIA. And he, you know what he actually said was, you know, why are they complaining? If they don't like it, don't come. Honestly, that was his exact words. And he had to, he tried to. He tried to roll back uh, a few days later, but by then it was too late. The damage was done. He didn't deny it either. Um, and so it's a real uh, big, big issue. Now, one of the things which people have been putting out there um, have been that it's, um, uh, it doesn't apply to the United Kingdom. Or that uh, I spoke to somebody today in Pakistan who said to me, nee, 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 uh, we've spoken to the authorities in the government, the Ministry uh, of Transport, uh, Tran Transport Minister Gulam Sarbal Khan Saab, we've spoken to Karachi, we've spoken to this person, we spoke to that person, and it's all, um, it's all going to happen, and flights are on tomorrow. Um, so this is a statement uh, which I got um, today, and it's from the um, it's from the Civil Aviation Authority in the United Kingdom. Okay, so these are the people who are responsible for aviation and pilot safety and passengers. Um, so no plane can come into the United Kingdom airspace, can't even land in the United Kingdom without the authority of the CAA and their equivalent um, at European Union level. And, and they said, uh, Mohammed, thanks for the call. Please see our uh, revised statement below. Let me know if, there's, if you need anything else because, because I was asking what PIA is saying this, uh, Pakistan authorities are saying that some flights are on tomorrow. He said, following the decision on 30th of June by the European Union Aviation Safety Agency, uh, ESA, um, to suspend permission for Pakistan International Airlines to operate services to the European Union, PIA flights from Birmingham, London, Heathrow, Manchester airports are suspended with immediate effect. The UK Civil Aviation Authority is required under law to withdraw PIA's permit to operate to the United Kingdom pending ESA's restoration of their approval that it meets its international air safety standards. We are reviewing a request by ESA to allow a small number of recreation flights operated by PIA to commence over the coming days. 
These will only be approved should ESA be assured uh, by the safety cases of these flights and that the flight crew operating the aircraft have the correct documentation. So that's the latest that's just dropped in my inbox uh, in the last few minutes. So that kind of builds up on what people are saying in regards to um, possibility of some flights. And what, what, what the British authorities, Civil Aviation Authority is now saying, is that if uh, ESA, the European Union Aviation Safety Agency, if they allow a number of flights to bring back stranded British citizens in Pakistan, um, then um, they will, um, if they authorise it, they will then allow some of those flights, a limited number of flights to travel to the UK. So that's what, uh, where we are. So that could actually mean if you're in Pakistan and you're stranded and you've got a PI ticket, the options open to you, and this is what PI have also said uh, today, is that you, um, okay, and, and then suspended for six months from today, effective July the 1st, which is tomorrow, sorry, uh, with the right of appeal against this decision. Um, and, uh, and, and the Pakistan authorities, PI authorities, have already said that they discontinue all flights to Europe temporarily. Uh, all passengers booked on its flights to European destinations will have the option to either extend their bookings to a later date or get a full refund. And PI says it's, it's in contact with uh, a European um, Union Aviation Safety Agency to try to get them to, um, you know, look at, uh, look at that and allow that. So that, that's where we are. So actually there's a possibility that you might see some flights, but again, those flights are only possible if the uh, European authorities say yes to being allowed, um, in allowing a small number of PI flights, but that would only happen if the European authorities are certain that the qualifications of the pilots, their certificates and, and their experience is actually uh, that they're real pilots, that they're not um, number door as they say, as we say in Urdu. So I hope that answers, um, it gives you a bit of background because I think that's really, really important these circumstances that people uh, have that background and I'm hoping um, at some stage, uh, Kibla Shasab uh, can come on, on online as well. And let's see who else is online. Anybody who wants to have a chat. But let's uh, let's get through some of these comments. Um, okay, let's have a look. So welcome to everybody. I just thought it'd be interesting because you know, these sort of things, I, I think a lot of people are so desperate and, and I've had so many people get in touch with me who are stranded in Pakistan. I've got friends and families and colleagues who are here from Pakistan who need to get back and can't get back obviously for this reason so that's a, a, an issue for them uh, I'm just going to go through the comments so apologies I'm not going to name check people who are watching this um, okay Jabran Saab um, good evening uh, Asalaamu Alaikum Kibla um, okay let's get through these so, okay here we are uh, Jabran says had to use PI when I came back from Pakistan in May <coughs> excuse me this airline being the only available one absolutely awful you're absolutely right Jabran it, it is and it's embarrassing because really, you know, you if you're on a plane for eight hours, you want it to be as, you know, it's not going to be 100% comfortable. It's not going to, you know, you're not, unless you're paying 10,000 pounds, uh, you know, to travel in first class and, and you might get a bed. That's different. But, you know, if you paid nearly a thousand pounds in some cases, some people have paid uh, one way tickets, then, you know, the least they could do is give you a decent meal and, and make the seats comfortable and give you a bit of entertainment. We don't ask for much, do we? You know, we're not, we're not, we don't want, uh, five star service we don't expect that uh, a decent meal good seats and entertainment they're the three things and it's comfortable and you know service with a smile um and that's really an issue um jabran says uh, what's your plans for us this year yeah I, i'm i'm scheduled to go to pakistan in october for for the urs of my sheikh uh but is in the pizza of and that it's not confirmed uh, because of the corona virus pandemic why that, that event is going to go ahead on the scale that there's you have nearly you know three four hundred thousand people gathered in one place and that's particularly dangerous if we're still in the pandemic so um i don't know the answer jabran i think you know we're waiting to see what the health uh, news is before announcements made about whether it's going to go ahead this year or not um but yeah I i'm scheduled to go to pakistan um but i'm going by uh, if they hard i'm going by if they hard this year so that's uh, in itself an issue let's get through your comments anybody wants to speak on this let's have a look um, uh, they're seeing Jay says are any airlines operating to from Pakistan so um, yeah some of the airlines I think Qatar 
uh, so Etihad and um, Emirates were operating, but they've also been suspended um, as well. And Qatar is also um, thinking about suspending it, but haven't announced it. I was waiting for a statement from Qatar Airways, but I'm not, I've not had it yet. Let me just check. Um, let me just check. Um, okay, so I, I'll come back to you and say if, if I've had it. Um, let me just... I'm just Googling it while I'm talking to you as well because I just thought I've not had the press release. I, I've emailed them and asked them for a comment and they've not come back. Um, and let's see what comes up. Um, so that, yeah, I, so other airlines are, but at the moment, I think, you know, from a purely, it's kind of really um, difficult because you've got the coronavirus pandemic still in this country, but particularly in Pakistan, it's, it's increasing on a massive scale. And that's a debate to be had. And I, I've got some really comments about our, uh, the ulama, the governments who literally give up on a lockdown and said, oh, we can't do it because, you know, we haven't got the economic power of other countries. And then you see um, in Ramadan, the last three days of Ramadan, when they opened the bazaars and they spent three, I think it was three billion rupees in shopping for Eid in those last three days. And it's exploded since then. So I'm not blaming the mosque and imams only, but I'm saying every collectively the whole country, you know, um, Basically, he's not paying any attention to it. Uh, let's have a look. I'm just going through these comments. So if there's anybody who wants to come on and have a chat and have a slag off PIA, because my guest was Gibla Kamran Pizada Saab. Shafakat Saab is online, so I don't know if he wants to share his thoughts. Um, let me just, uh, I'm just getting through these. So many. Uh, Imran Safkar Saab, hello, sir. Nice to see you, to see you nice. As they said, great show um, on uh, British Muslim TV. Uh, let's have a look. Um, I'm just getting through. So Muhammad says, P perhaps the loss isn't as big as it would have been if Corona wasn't around still. It's very shameful Nasha Kari's banned from operating. It's shameful for Pakistan, but actually it's, uh, I think it's going to be a blessing in disguise because really it's going to... The sort of the, the sort of PR, the PR damage that they've had, public relations reputation. I know PI's reputation is you know pretty low anyway, but it's actually going to possibly wake them up. And if they don't wake up, then I think it's the end of PI. I think it's probably going to collapse and you know be broken up and 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 you know bits of it's going to go off to foreign airlines in the Middle East and uh, PIA won't exist in its entity and that's kind of sad because of its history and its connection as a national airline but they've done nothing absolutely in the last 15, 20, 30 years to deal with these issues and everything that's happening now is happening as a direct result of the interference from politicians that's one okay and even in the United Kingdom when you have governments so let me give you a very good example because people will, will then say, what about Britain and nationalising industries? So the East Coast uh, mainline train uh, service, it travels from London, it goes from London to Leeds and then goes up to Newcastle and goes up to Scotland. It, it's on the East Coast. So if you just imagine Britain, um, you know, well, that's West Coast and that's East, but opposite way to you. Um, East Coast, down, so Newcastle, Leeds, York and that way. And... Uh, P, uh, sorry, so uh, for, uh, so one of the companies who had the contract basically couldn't, um, they, they, they couldn't run it and service was atrocious, trains were late, the quality of trains weren't very, very good and the government then felt that, you know, this company is going to collapse so therefore they can't handle it, so therefore we're going to bring it back in, in, into public ownership, okay, and then bring it in-house. But what the British government then have done, okay, to protect the integrity of the, of, the, of, of the train service, but also to protect the government from any interference, they've set up an arm's length body and they've appointed somebody who's an expert on, on, on train services. And he's, it's still part of public ownership, so that the trains are run by public. So the money that they make is pumped back into the economy by the treasury. But this person is appointed, These, the, the board members are appointed who are generally experts in their field and they work for this company which is basically, but it's hands them. So the minister is not appointed, he may, have a, he may have the ability to add somebody, you know, 
um, at, at, you know, as chair of the board and, and go through that recruitment process. But the day-to-day -day running of that company is entirely up to these individuals who've been appointed. They're accountable to ministers, so if they don't work well, they, they could be booted out. But the minister wouldn't interfere in the day-to-day -day running. In Pakistan, the situation is ministers interfere, the ministers, the military, and then you've got these corrupt uh, cartels who basically sneak their way into, into favour, curry favour with the um, ministers and the political parties like the People's Party and uh, Muslim League. And then, the, you know, they're in the institution and they bring in their friends, their families. And before you know it, it's, you know, it's a massive cartel. And um, so, yeah, it's, it's a real shame that, th that this is happening. But consequences of that rest with PIA. Uh, Ramzan Yasin says, says please, uh, sorry, I need to read. A PIA or disgrace have been for years. People only use this airline, particularly from the UK, because of one thing that's direct PK. Other than that, there's uh, F all going on for it. You're absolutely right. And that's what was one of the things I was saying was, you know, people, if somebody's ill, seriously ill in Pakistan and they need to get there quick, um, people jump on PIA. If there's a funeral, uh, if people want to take their body back home of a loved one. Um, and so it's, it's, it's easier that way because, you, you know, Manchester Airport, you, you kind of board the plane at nine o'clock, it leaves, and you arrive in Pakistan at you know, um, eight, nine o'clock in the morning. And you know, in my case, I, I'd arrive at eight, nine o'clock and you know, have, have, go to the hotel, have a shower, or whatever, and then go into my first meetings. And last year, I remember um, you know, the uh, Prince William and um, you know, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge uh, were there in their official visit, and I had a number of engagements that I was going to and so I didn't have time to, you know, jet lag or uh, response. And the reason I went with PI was because I needed to get there quick in the morning um, because they were arriving on the same day. So, um, you know, I, I, they arrived, um, I arrived slightly before them, which gave me a bit of time to refresh um, and do my job. So that's lots and lots of people do that. And the only reason they use PI is because it's, you know, it's, it's nonstop. But actually starting to see, I don't know, if, uh, uh, tell me if other people... Um, are, are watching this and might agree with this, but you're starting to see um, the way uh, uh, Dubai or Abu Dhabi or uh, Istanbul or, or, or Doha or uh, Muscat, it's not that really long. So you, you can get, you know, two hours, an hour and a half, an hour, 40 minutes, three hours, um, and it's not that bad, actually. So, you you know, um, it's not bad. And at least they're safe state, uh, safety standards. Um, have heard today that flights have been resumed and aren't cancelled. Jodri Adil, um, you have heard that and I've heard that as well. Lots of people have sent it to me. Uh, as I said, what the Civil Aviation Authority have said, um, that the flights are banned from tomorrow. So it'll be midnight tonight in like one hour, uh, 15, uh, 15, 16, 17 minutes. Okay. But what the PI authorities have then done, had they've gone back to uh, the authority, uh, civil aviation authority, and said, "Look, we've got we've got British citizens stranded in Pakistan who need to get back. We need we've got your citizens stranded in Pakistan, and we need to help you get them back. And there are our citizens in the UK and in Europe who are stranded who need to get back home. So therefore, can we you know can we run some repatriation flights? And what the British civil aviation authority said to me." Um, in the last 15 20 minutes is that they are reviewing um, a request um, by ESA uh, European Aviation Safety Agency to allow a very small number of recreation flights operated to by PI to commence over the next few days so um, the civil aviation authority is looking into that they haven't they haven't said yes and they haven't said no they're looking into that and there'll be further announcements to be made in the coming hours. If you're in Pakistan and you're stranded, okay, so if you're in Pakistan and you're stranded, the first thing you need to do is speak to PIA. And if you, um, you, know, you, you know, for example, let's assume that these recreation flights happen, but the capacity in terms of how many people want to get those flights are going to be massive. And knowing PIA's record, they're probably going to charge an arm and a leg and they'll cancel tickets and they'll try to do all sorts of shenanigans, which is what they're known for. And what they've done under the pandemic, um, you might want to cancel that ticket. And PI have already said tonight that they uh, will be giving a full. Um, they will be giving you a full. Just checking out. 
that they give you your full refund or allow you to book the flight for a later date. So I hope that answers your question um, as well. So yeah, there might be some flights coming through, but they're not your, they're not your scheduled flights on a daily basis. Okay, they're not regular flights. What they are are flights that have been uh, recreation flights. So it, it's kind of uh, trying to get British citizens back home, but also trying to get European citizens back home, but also trying to get Pakistani citizens stranded in the UK who need to go back, um, you know, so that those planes are, are available for them. But that will only be done if, if, if the Civil Aviation Authority and um, uh, e, uh, SF, uh, European Aviation Safety Agency, are satisfied, one, about the pilots, that they are really qualified and have sat their exams and really are pilots and not people who've taken a shortcut. Because uh, that's really scary in itself. A guy who's run in charge of the plane hasn't sat their pilot exams. And, and we know in this country, I know I, I, I speak to pilots from time to time in my job as a journalist. They are, they spend absolutely years to get qualified to sit the exam and then to get the experience. And they spend, they spend a lot of money to get there. And then suddenly you have these people who basically, you know, paid a, a backhand um, a corruption to not sit their exams. They paid a professor off. I don't know what, lots of stuff going on in Pakistan. But um, so, yeah, so I hope that answers your question, my friend. Uh, let's get through some of these. And in the, in, in the end, it's it's really about safety and security. Uh, Ramzan Yasin says, corruption from top to bottom, uh, hang your heads in shame, PIA. Yeah. Um, and as I said, it, this is this is not something that happened overnight. This is something that's happened progressively over 30, 40 years and successive governments are responsible. Um, you know, when it's losing billions of rupees every day, nobody's bothered because everybody's getting a salary paid. Just imagine, you know, there's a guy at the top who's the head of safety, for example. He's got no safety qualifications, but he's getting paid, uh, he's getting paid massive amounts of money. So is he really bothered? He's still going to get paid because if the airlines can't pay him, the government's going to give a bailout. And that's what's happened. Governments have given bailouts to satisfy, to pacify uh, the workers, and these workers are still in their jobs. And, and you know, um, as I said, it's, it's kind of really, really sad. Um, Zaf Khan says, PI are a disgrace. Service has been appalling and served them right. Should be banned for life. Qatar Airlines, best airline. Um, yeah, I travel in Qatar. Qatar is really, really good. Emirates is good. Etihad is good. Oman is good. Um, Turkish Airlines is good. You know, as I said, we're not asking for much. We're just asking for a nice plane, comfortable seating, nice enough meal, as nice as plain food is, and, and decent entertainment. I mean, it's not, we're not asking for much, are we? Um, let me just put this a bit forward so I can, I don't have to stretch um, out as much. Okay, so that's Zaf Khan. Um, let's have a look, going through these now. Um, Let's have a look. Anybody, let's see who we can bring on. Anybody wants to uh, come and have a chat with me? More than happy. Uh, Muhammad Asim Mirza, Imam Muhammad Asim Mirza, Kibla. Couldn't agree more. The entire experience from beginning to end is just appalling. It's so traumatizing. It is, and you, you just see those videos of people at the airport being harassed. And I know this is not directly into PI, but just the, the fact that people you know, are stopped. And, and I, I was kind of, last year when I was there, those of you who know me, I know I love my shisha. So I'd taken some shisha flavor with me. And basically, um, I got to the airport and he said, oh, well, you can't take this. And I'm like, what? Just being scanned through. No, you can't do it. And I'm going to open your suitcase. I had a meeting to go to, as I said. Uh, I was going straight into meetings and engagements. And he basically wanted me to open the suitcase. And in the end, I just kind of pulled my, my wallet out and showed him my press badge and said, you know, I work... I work for the media, uh, you know, is this appropriate? And he just said, um, you know, just put something into the, just, just put some pounds into the passport. And it was only because I pulled my card out and said to him, you're talking to a journalist here and I'm, I'm going to be meeting your prime minister in a couple of days. So I think he might be interested in, in, to know about this. And when I pulled my phone out to take a picture, that's when he said, no, 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 does he job, does he job, does he job. Now I was fortunate that I was traveling on my own um, and I um, had a pass, you know, but lots of people are just forced, humiliated, and the experience is not very nice for overseas Pakistanis. And Imran Khan, as I said, I support Imran Khan. I can't say that enough. 
But, you know, all these promises being made about looking after overseas Pakistanis, it's bollocks. You know, the people at the top really believe that. Sufi Bukhari, for example, is a great guy. He's really committed to that because he has been an overseas Pakistani, so he knows the experience. Imran Khan himself, absolutely. And some of the sort of senior ministers. But, you know, nothing's happened, nothing's changed. And you can argue it's going to take time. But how much time do, do you need to even make some minor changes around the experiences at the airports for people? And that's really a, a big thing. And, you know, uh, that's a really big, 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 big thing. Um, okay, so um, I did give you a name check. Uh, Arslan Mohammed, is it? No, Arslan Mahmoud says, poor customer service at every level because no one is appointed a merit. The whole company is riddled with nepotism and employment by Sifarish. Yeah, it's true. And, and, you know, I was having this conversation today with somebody who's well-connected in Pakistan in the civil service in Pakistan, I was talking to him today. And he was saying to me, and what just Arslan said, from the top to bottom, it's nepotism. You know, you get appointed, you're a director, and you bring in your, you bring in your little clique because you want to be protected. You don't want the next man to come along and take your job or get a promotion over you. Or God forbid, somebody else comes and tries to get rid of you. So what do you do? You bring in your little clique, your friends, your families, your distant cousins, your colleagues, and you charge them an arm and leg, and then suddenly they've got a regular income coming in, and and you know you've helped them, and you protect kind of, and that's what's going on, um, and it's 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 atrocious, and until they start dealing with this, they they're not going to get anywhere, they're not going to get anywhere at all. Um, so who's Mohammed Amar, your favourite airline? Grounded, uh, Ramzan Yassin says, um, and with a uh, LOL. Um, so Kiani Sab. Kiani Saab. Now, Kiani Saab is somebody who I really like, and I'm going to try to get this person on, online. I don't know if he's still on. Mansoor Ahmed Kiani Saab. Okay, he's not on. I think he's kind of looked at us and then listened to us for a while and disappeared. Um, um, so, yeah. Arslan Mahmoud says, the government no option but to go public um, all these fake licenses, trying to push it in the carpet and dealing with fake pilots the way was not going to change anything. Yeah, I think that's a really good point credit to the government who basically said look you know this is going to come out eventually so isn't it better for us the government to tell the public this is what we found you know we found 125 pilots who may have fake pilot licenses just let that settle into your head it's so scary um you know our family our children travel on these airlines and you know you kind of you know you, you put your life in the hands of these pilots and to know that the person who's flying your plane is qualified got the experience has had the regular testing has sat the exam to find then out that the pilot might not have sat the exam it's it's funny in itself um do you know if this is correct wahid akhtar says temporary resume um so yeah flight operation i don't know if you just joined us wahid akhtar but yeah there is going to be a number of recreation flights small number which i'm assuming is not going to be more than 10 uh, which um, PIA um, have said they need to run because of stranded British citizens in Pakistan and stranded Pakistanis in the UK who need to go back to Pakistan. And so then flights will run, but they won't be regular normal flights as they are. There'll be special chartered flights just for uh, stranded citizens, um, you know, wanting to leave the European Union and the UK. So that's correct. Um, but again, the decision hasn't been made by the British authorities. I think that decision expected in the morning about 11 o'clock. What the long term decision is, are they going to allow some of those flights to um, uh, recreation flights to happen? So let's see what happens with that. I uh, hope that answers your question. Why is everybody so scared? 32 planes, but over 800 pilots. Can I? Yeah, it's Yasser Khan there. Uh, spot on. 30, 30, I mean, I, I really would love to have got this person in who's an expert. Uh, in the bureaucracy in the civil service he's been brought in by uh, Imran Khan I don't say anything more than that just because uh, I don't want to um, you know put him in any difficult position but he would have been a great person to talk to because he'll give you all the facts like you've done Yasser the 32 planes 800 pilots I mean 800 pilots I mean why would you need 800 pilots when you're running less than 32 planes and in those cases some of those planes are not even running it's just a joke absolute joke um, Shaykh Latif, love you my bro Assalamu alaikum, good evening Brother Shafiq um, and everybody watching uh, Qibla Nabil Kadri Saab Nice to see you on the line 
Um, okay, let me see. Salam, bro. Like your hoodie. Um, it's really funny because, you know, like, uh, because I do a lot, obviously, do TV work and media work and I work in government. And so I'm always in a suit. And it's been sort of the blessing in disguise since the pandemic that uh, the only time I wear a suit is if it, on a Wednesday when I do my TV show and I, I, I'm on camera. Otherwise, I'm just relaxing. So it's nice to uh, just chill. And uh, yeah, hoodie, 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 hoodie. Um, so I'm Kamran P. Zada Saab is now on the line. And I'm going to see if I can bring Shaji on. Yeah, send, send Kamran Saab. Kamran P. Zada Saab. This is the guy we're waiting for. He was running a bit late. So he's got man in it. Partly my fault. I thought we was going to leave it a few days and not, not do it today and do it on Thursday. But I thought people are really worried about this. So let's talk about it today. Uh, about time. Uh, Kamran Pizad Asad has just commented. I'm just adding Sha uh, Kibla to. Um, I'm online with you. Yes, Shadi, waiting to you to accept. Um, so Haji Dawood Saab says. Uh, Dawood Hussein Saab says, will the flights open this July? Um, no, they won't. So what the British Civil Aviation, Civil Aviation Authority have said in the last. Uh, 30 minutes or so, that there'll be a number, a small number of flights, recreation flights, that they will authorize. Uh, and Shah Saab is here. Asalaamu Alaikum, Shah Ji. Wa Alaikum as wa rahmatullahi So, I think what might be better, I might, it would help if I put my, put my headphones in. Shah Ji? Kya hale? Aapko mili? Ji Allah ka shukar. Aap sunay, aapko mili awaz aa rahi hai? Zabah, that's clear, awaz aa rahi hai. Um, so, I'm just going through some, Shah Ji, some of these comments. Um, abhi is waqt, Civil Aviation Authority ne mujhe email kiya. Wo keh rahe hain ke maybe five or ten flights will be allowed, but that's just for stranded Pakistan. Kya kehne chahte hain apke? You know, ye PIA or ye corruption or ye pilots fake license. Shafiq bhai, बहुत शुक्रिया सबसे पहले तो आपका कि आप इतने हम इशू को हमारे सामने लेके आए हैं. दूसरी बात ये कि हमने इससे पहले भी बात की थी. आपको पता है कि हमने एक बकायदा एक प्रोग्राम भी किया था. 70s में आप थोड़ी देर पहले कतर एयरलाइन की तारीफ कर रहे थे आप लेकिन शायद बहुत से लोगों को पता नहीं होगा कि जब ट्रेनिंग देने वाली पी आई ए थी कतर को भी ट्रेनिंग देने वाली पी आई ए थी लेकिन बदकिस्मती ये हुई है कि जब से ये सियासी दौर शुरू हुआ है तब से सियासी तौर पे अब पूरी दुनिया में एक स्टैंडर्ड है कि एक जहाज के लिए कितने लोग चाहिए होते हैं लेकिन आप उम्मीद करें कि सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने ये बात भी थी कि पाकिस्तान में छह हजार इजाफी लोग हैं जो कि ये में भर्ती किए गए और ये लोग भर्ती किए गए पीपल्स पार्टी के दौर में ज्यादातर और उसके बाद फिर ये लोग भर्ती किए गए पाकिस्तान में जब भी कोई मसला होता है आपको पता है कि मॉडल टाउन का वाक्य हुआ इंक्वायरीज होती है आज तक रिपोर्ट कोई सामने नहीं आती ये पहली दुनिया के सामने लेके आए हैं और हमें ये बताया कि जो चीजें हम अंडर कार्पेट कर देते थे इससे नुकसान क्या हुआ शफीक भाई के लास्ट चार साल में तीन बड़े हादसे हुए हैं और तीन हादसों में एक हजार के करीब जो लोग हैं कि जिन लोगों की जाने गई हैं एक एक घर का फर्द है वो कितना इम्पोर्टेंट है मैं बहुत काम तीन महीने से वैसे भी हमारी फ्लाइट नहीं चल रही अब वो ये समझ रहे की ये हमारे लिए रीजनरेट करने का टाइम है इमरान खान साहब की हुकूमत ने बड़ा जबरदस्त डिसीजन लिया है एटलीस्ट मेरे और आपके बच्चे जो खास तौर पे हम फैमिली को ट्रस्ट करके भेजते हैं कि नहीं हम अपनी पी आई ए को सपोर्ट करेंगे तो ये बड़ा जबरदस्त हुआ है कि अब गजब खुदा का अपने बच्चों की जाने दो सौ साठ लोगों ने बाकायदा तौर पर इम्तहान ही नहीं दी और उनमें से मंसूर एजाज साहब मैं कल परसों उनका इंटरव्यू सुन रहा था तो उनसे जब पूछा गया कि भाई जब आप एमडी थे तो क्या आपको नहीं पता क्या हुआ तो उन्होंने ये जवाब दिया उन्होंने कहा जी कि मेरे दौर में मुझे पता ही नहीं होता था ये जो पीपल्स यूनियन है जो इनकी अपनी यूनियन बनी हुई है इतनी स्ट्रांग थी कि इनकी मर्जी से पायलट लगता था कि किस पायलट ने किधर जाना है और एक और बात लास्ट दस साल की है ये कि आठ सी चेंज हुए यानी कि वो सुप्रीम कोर्ट चले जाते हैं और पाकिस्तान में सबसे बड़ा प्रॉब्लम ये है कि छोटा सा बड़े से बड़ा चोर अदालत में जाके वो पता है पाक साफ हो जाता है मेरा ख्याल है ये बड़ा जबरदस्त डिसीजन है और इस डिसीजन बहुत जबरदस्त डिसीजन है मैं समझता हूँ कि इनको छह महीने के नहीं बल्कि आठ महीने की पाबंदी लगानी चाहिए पाकिस्तान 
लेकिन अब पी आई से जो लोग सफर करके आए मेरी फैमिली सफर करके आई ये मेरे जानने वाले हैं ये जो पैरेंट अब उन्होंने पहले तो ये कि तीन दफा टिकट रिटर्न लेके गए यहाँ से तो रिटर्न पे उनके उन, उनसे पैसे लिए और फिर एक लाख रुपया उन्होंने एक्स्ट्रा दिया वापस आने के लिए अब बहुत रात ये देखे कि कितना जुल्म है और कहते हैं जहाज में बैठे हैं उन्होंने पानी दे लाइटें बंद कर दी है मानचेस्टर तक इस्लामाबाद से मानचेस्टर तक उन्होंने चाय के अलावा कोई खाना नहीं दिया और कहते हैं उनका बच्चे रो रहे थे दूध मांग रहे थे लोग बीमार थे किसी का तो आपको पता है कि एक और बात शायद आपको तो जर्नलिस्ट है आपको याद हो कुछ अर्सा पहले ग्लास्को से हमारा पी आई ए का एक ऐसा पायलट पकड़ा गया था जो नशे की हालत में था और वो एयरपोर्ट में दाखिल होकर जहाज चलाने लगा था और आपकी इंफॉर्मेशन के लिए ये बात भी बता दूं कि जब वो पाकिस्तान गया तो उसको पाकिस्तान की अदालत ने दोबारा बहाल करके फिर पायलट लगा दिया वो यहाँ पे आती हैं वो यहाँ पे आपको पता है कितने स्कैंडल होते हैं मानचेस्टर में बाकायदा हीरोइन जिला तो पूरे का पूरा आवे का आवा बिगड़ा हुआ है मेरा ख्याल है मैं जाती तौर पर यह कहता हूँ कि जो लोग पाकिस्तान से मोहब्बत अपनी जगह है लेकिन अगर आपका सगा बाप भी ईमान से हट जाए ईमान के रस्ते से हट जाए तो उसकी पैरवी ना करो अगर पाकिस्तान से मोहब्बत अपनी जगह लेकिन शकीब भाई मेरे और आपके बच्चे आपको पता है लंदन से एक फैमिली गई है तीन बच्चे उनके मियाँ भी वो यहाँ से पैराडामिक से भाग के पाकिस्तान गए पूरी की पूरी फैमिली जो है वो कराची के इस ये जो जहाज था उसमें तबाह होगी तो खुदा ली के लिए इन लोगों की जिंदगी से खेलना छोड़िए इस छह महीने के लिए और मैं सलूट पेश करता हूं पाकिस्तानी गवर्नमेंट को कि जिन्होंने बड़ा मुश्किल स्टेप लिया है आज मैं देख रहा था मीडिया पे लोग बात कर रहे थे कि ये मुल्की मफाद लेकिन शकीक भाई ये मुल्की मफाद कब तक देखते रहेंगे कब तक लोगों की जिंदगियां इसी तरह दाव पे लगाते रहेंगे मेरा ग्रेट डिसीजन रियली आई थिंक द अदर थिंग शाह साहब के आपने कहा है ना पिछले गवर्नमेंट जो थी वो बस रिपोर्ट अखबारी का लान करते थे इस ये हुकूमत जो है इमरान खान ने उसने कहा कि इसको छुपाना नहीं जो पायलट्स लाइसेंस वगैरह है कि ही वांट्स इट टू बी इसको क्रेडिट तो दूंगे ना खान साहब को कि उसने आउट स्पोकन लेवल पर कह दिया कि हमने इसको नहीं छुपाना आवाम के सामने रख कर कहना कि 200 कुछ पायलट्स जो हैं जिन्होंने एग्जाम नहीं लिया खान साहब ने कल कौमी असम्बली में तकरीर की है और इमरान खान ने वहां कहा है कि भाई लोग कहती हैं कि ये जो रिपोर्ट है इसको छुपा दो लेकिन खान कहता है कि कल अगर कोई और हादसा होता है और उसमें जो लोग मरेंगे खान ने ये कहा कि क्यामत वाले दिन मेरा गरीबान पकड़ा जाएगा पता था अब मैं समझता हूँ कि बड़ा बेस्ट डिसीजन है हमें तकलीफ हो रही है ये हमारा इदारा है ये मेरा और आपका अपना कंट्री है पाकिस्तान के लिए इस वक्त जो है मेरा ख्याल है सबको सपोर्ट करना चाहिए लोगों ने तो अब मैं आगे आपका कमेंट पढ़ रहा था हमारे एक दोस्त कह रहे थे कि मैंने पंद्रह साल पहले इनको पीआईए को बाइकआउट कर दिया था बिल्कुल जो आपने थोड़ी देर पहले आपने भी कहा कि जिस तरह एयरपोर्ट पे लोगों को जलील किया जाता है आप जैसे जर्नलिस्ट को जिसको पूरी दुनिया जानती है अब उससे भी अगर वो पैसे मांग लेंगे जो अपनी बॉडी यहाँ से सकते हैं कर सकते हैं क्या है मेरे ख्याल दूसरे एयरलाइन इजाजत नहीं देती नहीं पी आई ए में ये है की पी आई ए आपकी बॉडी को फ्री लेके जाती है और ये पी आई ए का बड़ा जबरदस्त कारनामा था की पी आई ए जो है वो आपकी लेके जा रही है अभी तो पैनाडेमिक की वजह से अभी मेरा ख्याल है यहाँ से बॉडीज को अलाउ भी नहीं है कि वो ट्रांसपोर्ट आप बॉडी गई है मैंने सुना है वो बाबा डिटा डिटा साहब की फोटो है ना तकबीर टीवी वाले जी उनकी बॉडी उनकी बॉडी गई थी मेरे इंफॉर्मेशन में ये है कि मैनचेस्टर में कुछ लोगों ने बकायदा रास्ते किए हैं तो वहां से पीआईए ने उनको ये कहा बुजुर्ग थे वो मीरपुर से ताल्लुक था वो इंतकाल कर गए तो उनके लिए तो उन्होंने कहा कि गवर्नमेंट ऑफ पाकिस्तान ने इजाजत ले ली तो मेरा ख्याल है कोई जिसमें से मिल जाए अब इस बात पे पीआईए को आप क्लीन चिट नहीं दे सकते कि ये आपकी बॉडीज लेके जाती है खुदा के लिए ये जो जिंदा लोग जाते हैं जिनकी बॉडियां बन जाती हैं और जो जिस बुरी हालत में आप पता है जिनमें बहुत से तीन लोग पहले मारे गए ब्लू एरिया में कोई किसी ने पूछा नहीं आज तक कोई रिपोर्ट नहीं आई और मेरा ख्याल है 
कि इस वक्त गवर्नमेंट ऑफ पाकिस्तान को रीजनरेट करना चाहिए उन्होंने बड़ी धमकियां दी हैं ये जो मौजूदा आपको पता है इमरान खान ने पी आई ए का सीओ लगाया था इसको तीन महीने तक इन्होंने सुप्रीम कोर्ट में जलील किया और सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने तीन महीने उसको बेचारे को काम नहीं करने दिया अभी उसको इजाजत दी है तो ये पी आई ए की यूनियन जो है ये इतनी स्ट्रॉन्ग है शफीक भाई इतने नहीं चलते जितने इन्होंने लोग भर्ती किए हैं और आपको पता है इतने सबसे ज्यादा किराए आज भी आप पाकिस्तान का टिकट चेक कर लें जिस वेबसाइट पे चेक करें पी सबसे महंगी हो ऊपर कर देते हैं लेकिन लोग फिर भी इनको जाने को तरजीह देते हैं लोग आते हैं पी आई ए को सपोर्ट करते हैं लेकिन पी आई ए अगर मेरी और आपकी जिंदगी से खेलेगा तो मैं नहीं समझता कि कोई भी जो जी शूर शख्स है उसको हमारे करनी चाहिए लोकतंत्र मैं समझता हूँ उसने बिल्कुल अच्छा किया है पहले ये होता जैसे मैंने कहा कि जो सिविल एविएशन अथॉरिटी शाह साहब उन्होंने मुझे पिछले 30-40 मिनट्स में मुझे ईमेल ब्रिटिश सिटीजन के लिए जो पाकिस्तान में इस वक्त स्टैंडर्ड है उनके लिए और फिर यहाँ के जो पाकिस्तानी सिटीजन है वो भी काफी मेरे दोस्त यार हैं जो इंतजार कर रहे हैं कि कब ये फ्लाइट मिलेगी उनको उनको वापस लेने के लिए उस पर कुछ मीटिंग सुबह हो रही है अथॉरिटी की मीटिंग सो आई होप द आंसर इज योर क्वेश्चन अभी मैं ये सुन रहा था कि अभी कुछ फ्लाइट्स की उन्होंने 3 जुलाई तक शायद इजाजत दी है इजाजत कुछ ये अभी जो यूरोपियन यूनियन एविएशन स्टेट इवन मैं पा रहा हूं उन्हीं ने درخواست की है ब्रिटिश सिविल एविएशन अथॉरिटी को कि कुछ फ्लाइटें जो है हैंडफुल ऑफ फ्लाइट्स को इजाजत दें तो ब्रिटिश अथॉरिटी सुबह फैसला करेगी तो शायद हो जाए मेक आई नॉन एग्जिस्टेंट इसको कैसे चेंज कर सकते हैं कि अगर आप कह रहे हैं तो मैं भी कह रहा हूं कि ऊपर से लेके नीचे तक 30-40 साल ये करप्ट माफिया उसको तबाह किया है क्या इसको बिल्कुल बंद करें नया एयरलाइन नया ना नया स्टाफ कैसे करेंगे आप शरीफ भाई मैं आपको मिसाल देता हूँ पाकिस्तान स्टील भी बिल्कुल पी आई ए की तरह इदारा था ये जब परवेज मुशरफ का दौर आया तो हर महीने की नुकसान हो रहा था तनख्वाह दी जा रही थी नौ हजार मुलाजिम है वहां पच्चीस करोड़ रुपया हर महीने वो बंद की स्टील में नुकसान दी जा रही थी उसने वहां पे एक लेफ्टिनेंट जनरल लगा दिया और आपको पता है पाकिस्तान में तो माशा जो जो माइट इज राइट जिसके पास ताकत होती थी वही पावरफुल होती आजकल वो मुस्लिम लीग नून में आप बिलीव करें उसे तीन साल में वही जो कसारे में इदारा था उसको बाकायदा तौर पे वही इदारा जो था वो मुनाफे में चला गया और बाकायदा तौर पे वहां से पांच अरब डॉलर की पाकिस्तान को फायदा हुआ ये जो पी आई सीधा हो सकता है जो आप इमरान खान फैसला कर लेगा इमरान खान ने अभी तक दो साल में फैसला कोई नहीं किया ऐलान बहुत किए हैं लेकिन फैसला कोई नहीं किया मास वाई रिपोर्ट को पब्लिश करने के कि जिस दिन इमरान खान फैसला कर लेगा एक बार पाकिस्तान में इतने टैलेंटेड लोग हैं आपको पता है वाजिद जयाज ऐसे लोग सरकारी मुलाजिम होते हुए जिसने सिटिंग प्राइम मिनिस्टर के खिलाफ सबूत निकाल के पनामा के ला दिए थे बड़े बड़े टैलेंटेड लोग बैठे हुए वाजिद जैसे जो हमारा आई जी इस वक्त उन जैसे बड़े बड़े काबिल लोग हैं लेकिन इमरान खान को भी शो करनी पड़ेगी कि कोई भी इदारे को ठीक करने के लिए बाकायदा तौर पर तगड़ा बंदा लगाना पड़ेगा एक और अहम बात इनमें पाकिस्तान की अदालतों को जो मुदाखलत है वो नहीं करनी होगी अफसोस ये है शफीक भाई कोई भी काम शुरू करता है आप शुरू करें जो ही किसी काम में शुरू करेंगे आप किसी करप्ट बंदे को उसकी सीट से उतारेंगे वो क्या करता है एक सुप्रीम कोर्ट के वकील को पचास हजार दो लाख फीस देता है वो जाकर स्टे ऑर्डर ले आता है आप जो मर्जी करते रहे वो अपनी सीट नहीं छोड़ते को अब ये लोगों की जिंदगी का मसला है जहाँ पे छोटी छोटी जस्टिस फायद ईसा की केस में छोटी छोटी बातों पे सो मोटो लेते हैं तो खुदा के लिए अब थोड़ा सा सो मोटो जो है वो पी आई ए इतनी कसारे में नहीं है ये कुछ अरसे में इन्होंने बड़ा उसको रिकवर लगाया इमरान खान को जब ये पता चला कि स्टाफ छह हजार ज्यादा है तो उन्होंने कहा इसको निकाल तो नहीं सकते लेकिन एक सजेशन ये जो नए आई एम सी ओ उन्होंने कहा था कि हम लोकल एयरपोर्ट बना देते हैं और उसमें एक लोकल एयरपोर्ट 
मीरपुर का एयरपोर्ट भी शामिल था उन्होंने कहा जी कि हम पूरे मुल्क में चार बड़े एयरपोर्ट्स बना देते हैं तो ये जो छह हजार लोग हैं हम डिफेंड डिफेंड करके एक तो हमें आमदन हासिल होगी पैसा हमारे पास आएगा दूसरे ये लोग खप जाएंगे तो इनको थोड़ा सा काम करने दिया जाए मेरा ख्याल है इमरान खान अच्छी है लेकिन अभी तबीयत उनकी इतनी अच्छी नहीं है ब्रिटिश एयरवेज जो है वो लंदन से जा रही थी ये पैंडेमिक से पहले प्रोग्राम था मैनचेस्टर से भी शुरू करना ये भी अगर दोबारा आ जाए तो फिर ये कंपटीशन जो है की होगी ना ब्रिटिश एयरवेज की तो फिर जैर पी को सेटअप करना पड़ेगा ये ये जब तक कंपटीशन नहीं आएगा ना अब ये मेरा और आपका मामला भी है मैं जो आप हम जो लोग मीडिया में हैं मैं वो, सारी, मैं वो, वो ही सर मैं कह रहा था कि जब मैं पिछले साल पाकिस्तान गया था उस वक्त विलियम और केट थी वहां उनको उनकी तो, तो कुछ मीटिंग्स थे बैठकर सुबह सात आठ बजे आप पहुंच जाते तो दस ग्यारह बजे आप काम शुरू कर लेते टाइम बचा देता था ना हाँ वो तो है लेकिन अब जो टाइम है ना वो कहते हैं कि अब जिंदगी किससे तो आपकी अच्छा नहीं है अब आपकी जिंदगी कहते हैं ना कि जल्दी पहुंचने से थोड़ी देर कभी ना पहुंचने से थोड़ी देर देर से पहुंचना ज्यादा बेहतर है तो मेरा ख्याल है कि हम वो अभी तो वो दूसरे रास्ते यूज करें अब ये जो गंदी मछली है इनके अलावा भी अब ये इन जैसे लोग नहीं है वो लोग भी है कि जो एयर होस्टल्स जो है उनका रवैया देखें जिस तरीके से वो बदतमीज तूफान बदतमीजी बरपा होता है लोगों के साथ जो हशर करती है हमारे लोग भी माशाल्लाह हैं लेकिन वो जो आ, उनका रवैया स्टाफ का अब मैं आपको बताऊं मैं गालबन मार्च में आ, या मैं हम जनवरी में या मार्च में मैं गया हूं सऊदी एयरलाइन पे मैंने फर्स्ट टाइम सफर किया मैं पूरी दुनिया घूमा हूं आप बिलीव करें शफीक भाई मेरा पूरी जिंदगी में नहीं रहा मैं ये सोच रहा था मेरा सऊदियों को जब उनके बारे में बात करते हैं तो मेरा उनके बारे में कोई अच्छी राय नहीं लेकिन छह घंटे की फ्लाइट थी साढ़े छह घंटे की उन्होंने साढ़े छह घंटे में कोई पंद्रह बीस मिनट नहीं होते थे वो आपके पास आके पूछते नहीं खाना बार बार आके पूछना लुक आफ्टर करना बंदे का ध्यान रखना तो वही जैसे आप कह रहे थे हम यही तो मानते हैं कि भाई सेफ हमारा हो हमारे बच्चे सुकून से पहुंच जाए एयरपोर्ट पे ओवरसीज के साथ आप करें ये जुल्फी बुखारी साहब भी है हमारे लेकिन अभी तक आप देखें एयरपोर्ट पे हमारे साथ क्या सुलूक हो हम पहले ये होता था कि जो पाकिस्तान में हमारे गरीब बहन भाई थे उनके लिए मोबाइल को उनको गिफ्ट दे देते यही होता था हमारा किसी को दो ओवरसीज के साथ आते ही इमरान खान साहब ने पहला काम ये किया कि भाई आप दूसरा मोबाइल नहीं लेके जा सकते अपना मोबाइल आपको अपने मोबाइल पे तीन महीने से ज्यादा टैक्स देना पड़ता उसके गाड़ियों का टैक्स बढ़ा दिया ये जो पाकिस्तान लोग गाड़ियां लेके जाते थे उसपे सिक्सटी परसेंट टैक्स मान जैसा सलूक ना करें मेरा ख्याल है इमरान खान साहब को पी आई ए सिस्टम चेंज करने की जरूरत है और अगर अदालतें मदाखत नहीं करेंगी शफीक भाई मुझे यकीन है कि कल आपको पता है कि उन्होंने इजलास बुला लिया इमरान खान कॉल किया कल बारह बजे और काबीना का जो फैसला होता है वो कानून बन जाता है और कल मेरा ख्याल है वो सारे के सारे लाइसेंस जो हैं वो आ, पहले तो सस्पेंडेड थे अब वो मैं टर्मिनेट उनको करने लगे हैं जॉब से तो मैं समझता हूँ कि इससे बड़ा अच्छा पैगाम भी जाएगा जो भी and that's the hardest thing especially when you travel with young children poor customer service no air conditioning i traveled with pia in february and it was so hot like sitting in a sauna and the staff said the air conditioning is out of order poor um let's have a look zaida why are pia still flights scheduled zaida um hack that's because aviation flights which the government is looking into so or 10 o'clock in the morning here in the UK um at the civil aviation authority and they'll make a decision whether they'll allow them flights to come i think they will allow them as long as the pilots can verify is genuine or not am i right in that shasab sahi ka bilkul sahi hai bilkul ab ye ab ye ho gaya ki ab jo bhi pilot baithega mera khayal hai wo ek ek copy jo hai wo passengers ko bhi deni chahiye असली भी है या ये जाली डिग्री पे एक और आपको मजे की बात बताऊ 
ये कुछ दिन पहले ना सोशल मीडिया पे दो पाकिस्तान की बेटियां हैं वो सगी बहने हैं उन्होंने वन ट्रिपल था वो दुबई से उड़ा के लाई अब इस रिपोर्ट में पता चला है हमने बड़ी तारीफ की मैं बड़ा खुश हुआ कि माशाला ये हमारी खुशियां इतना आगे आ गई और ये बड़े फख्र की बात है हमारे जब आप इनका बाइक ऑफ करेंगे तो यकीन करें कि पूरी दुनिया में ऐसे होता है अब इंडिया में देख ले इंडिया में भी इसी तरह की एयरलाइन थी जिनके दो हादसे हुए तो लोगों ने बाइक ऑफ कर दिया एक टाइम वो आया कि लगा दी नवाज शरीफ साहब के दौर में जो इनके फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर थे वो कहते थे कि जो हमसे स्टील मिल खरीदेगा हम उसको पी आई ए फ्री दे देंगे यानी कि इतने बुरे हालात थे लेकिन अब मेरा ख्याल है कि पी आई ए बेहतर होने जा रही है और हम सबको सपोर्ट करना चाहिए फिलहाल हमें सख्त लफ्स नहीं कहना चाहता इमरान खान साहब पूछ रहे हैं It's not a U-turn, uh, Imran Khan. It's a repatriation flights for Pakistani citizens that are stranded in the European Union, and for European Union citizens stranded in Pakistan. So, if you French, Spanish, German, uh, Austrian, whatever you are, if you're in Pakistan and you want to get back, there are going to be um, two or three days of flights, so five or six flights that will be allowed to happen. ये भी आप आपके ख्याल में ये ये आपके न्यूज़ में भी यही है. कि सिर्फ तीन दिन के लिए रेप्रिएशन फ्लाइट्स होंगे ये जो फ्लाइट्स है ये बकायदा ऐलान हो गया है कि वाकई जो लोग कुछ शायद मेरा ख्याल है मुझे जाती तौर पे लगता है कि इससे भी ज्यादा फ्लाइट्स को अलाउ किया जाएगा ऑब्वियसली प्रेशर बढ़ेगा गवर्नमेंट पे क्योंकि ये आपको पता है कि अब एक बात का अंदाजा लगा ले पाकिस्तान में और डिफरेंस क्या है यूरोपीय यूनियन में कोई जाली पालट नहीं निकला लेकिन इन लोगों को अपने लोगों की सेफ्टी का इतना ज्यादा ख्याल है कि दुनिया के किसी कोने में हुआ तो इन्होंने पाबंदी इसलिए लगा दी कि जब तक ये लोग क्लियर नहीं होते गवर्नमेंट ऑफ पाकिस्तान जब तक री नहीं कराती कि ये लोग वाकई जेनियन है और पाकिस्तान में बड़े बड़े काबल पायलट मौजूद हैं मैंने आपको बताया इन लोगों ने बाकायदा कटर एयरवेज को एमरेट्स को इन्होंने सिखाया है लेकिन सियासी तौर पे आपको पता है ये पूरी दुनिया में होगा अब ये आपको पता है कि अभी अमेरिका से डायरेक्ट जो थे वो चलाने लगे थे और लेकिन आपको पता है कि अब वो भी अफेक्ट होगा पूरी दुनिया में हमारे ऑपरेशंस अफेक्ट होंगे लेकिन इससे छह महीने तीन महीने मैं पता है आपको क्यों मुतमिन हूँ मैं कहता हूँ तीन महीने तो हमने वैसे ही पैनाडेमिक की वजह से ही हमने काट लिए तीन महीने तो कोई फ्लाइट नहीं करी ना वो किराई भी तो आपने एक जहाज गिरा दिया पाकिस्तान में अब छह महीने जो है इनको मेरा ख्याल है थोड़ी सी एहसास होगा इनके अंदर मैं शर्म तो नहीं कहना चाहता थोड़ा सा इनके दिन नरम होंगे इनको पता चलेगा कि लोगों की जिंदगियों के साथ नहीं खेलना हमने काबिल लोग लाने हैं और शफीक भाई आप बिलीव करें पाकिस्तान में एक से एक काबिल बंदा मौजूद है बड़े बड़े वहां पे अल्लाह तला ने हीरे पैदा किए हैं लेकिन वही बात है कि आप उनको पोलिटिकली उनकी बैक नहीं होती तो वो आगे नहीं आ सकते लेकिन अभी मैं तो जाती तौर पे अब कम से कम एक साल दो साल की है ये मैं सफर नहीं करूंगा देखो मैं भी इस साल तो मेरे तो की बुक है चौधरी वलीद मौलाना वलीद हसनैन हैदरी साहब आई थिंक दे डिजर्व जस्ट लुक एट द ग्रेटर पिक्चर विद व्हिच हंड्रेड्स इन डेंजर सो या इट्स रेपोरेशन फ्लाइट्स सो दे नॉट मेक अ यू टर्न ब्रदर दे दे जस्ट सेइंग because their citizens are stranded in the pakistan and pakistani citizens are stranded here they'll allow a number of flights to come so they'll be open up to a uh, general public they are not um shaji mai zara jaldi se um pia useless jebla muzabbar shah saab 
uh, for the first time it's just gone back into profit to ye jo chaudhri adil sahab baat kar rahe hain ke ye 5 billion 6 billion uh, rupees ki uh, loss ho rahi thi ab to pehli baar ye profit mein aa gaye hain ye sach hai nahi wo abhi profit mein nahi aaye wo jo loss tha wo control hua hai wo bahut kam 70% loss inhone cover kar liye kyunki problem kya hai shafiq bhai इनके किराए भी ज्यादा है इनके पास स्टाफ बहुत ज्यादा है इंटरनेशनल जो रेटिंग है ना पूरी दुनिया में जो एक निजाम चल रहा है वो सिस्टम ये है कि आपके एयरपोर्ट के हिसाब से और आपके जहाजों के हिसाब से आपके पास हमला होता है लेकिन पी है ये कि एक जहाज के लिए आपको पता है दो सौ लोग हैं एक जहाज के लिए दो सौ लोग भर्ती किए गए हैं तो अंदाजा लगाए जब एक बंदा सरकारी जॉब में आ जाता है तो फिर उसको जो लॉ है वो प्रोटेक्ट करता है जब प्रोटेक्ट करता है तो फिर गवर्नमेंट को उसको तनख्वाह देनी पड़ती है पी आई ए में इस वक्त छह हजार जो लोग हैं वो इजाफी हैं छह हजार लोग उनकी कोई जरूरत नहीं है आपको पता है आप देखते होंगे एयरपोर्ट पे आपको बंदा ही बंदा नजर आता होगा उनके पास उनके पास बंदा बहुत ज्यादा है और कई लोग ऐसे हैं खासतौर पर सिंध में गजब खुदा का वहां पे बहुत जुल्म है वहां पे दो दो जो इस जो हमारा सी ओ ऐसे निकाले हैं कि दो सौ लोग ऐसे थे जो तीन साल से घर बैठ के तनख्वाह ले रहे थे और एक और बात आपको बताओ पी आई ए की एक पायलट है जिसकी डिग्री जाली है उसने पी आई ए के खर्चे पे वो पी आई ए में जॉब करती थी उसने पी आई ए के खर्चे पे टर्की में जाके कोर्स किया और उसका एक लाख डॉलर से ज्यादा जो खर्चा था वो पी आई ए ने भरा उसने जो ही कोर्स किया तो उसने फौरी तौर पे टर्किश एयरलाइन में जॉब कर ये भी मीडिया पे चल रहा था तो अब उसको वो भी मतलब अब ये देखे कि इतना आवे कावा बिगड़ा हुआ है वहां पे पार्टीज इतनी ज्यादा स्ट्रॉन्ग है यूनियन इतनी ज्यादा स्ट्रॉन्ग है कि वो जरा सी कोई बात करता है तो वो सुप्रीम कोर्ट में चले जाता है तो ये आसिफ खान साहब कह रहे हैं वी ऑल प्रोबब्ली बीन ऑन अ फ्लाइट वेयर पीआई और पीआई फ्लाइट बंदे वर द फेक पायलट होप दे गो आउट बिजनेस अम जाहिद अल हक पैट्रियट्स नाउ नीड टू फाइंड अ न्यू एयरलाइन अदर देन पीआई इंटेल सो ये वो ये इतने डैमेज एयरलाइन हो चुकी है ये नाम भी ऐसा जब नाम लेते हैं तो लोग के लोग खुद चेहरे पर परेशानी नजर आ जाती है शाह जी तो इसके बेहतर नहीं कि इसको क्लोज कर लें नए एयरलाइन बनाए नहीं आपके पास एक स्ट्रक्चर तो मौजूद है ना शफीक भाई शफीक स्ट्रक्चर आपके पास मौजूद है इंप्लीमेंटेशन अच्छी नहीं हो रही इससे पहले यही इदारा था ना यही पाकिस्तान इंटरनेशनल एयरलाइन थी कि जिसने बाकायदा तौर पे पूरी दुनिया में राज किया था ये बड़े बड़े मुल्कों को चीन तक और ये कहाँ कहाँ तक ये सारी सर्विसेज जाती थी अब अफसोस की बात यह है कि स्ट्रक्चर आपके पास मौजूद है लोग भी मौजूद है लेकिन आपको राइट सीट पे राइट बंदा लाना पड़ेगा जब राइट सीट पे राइट बंदा लाएंगे तो आप यकीन करें मेरा मानना ये है मेरा वजदान कहता है मेरा दिल कहता है कि मेरा ख्याल है अगर इमरान खान थोड़ी सी विल पावर अपनी मजबूत करे और वो मेरा ख्याल इन इदारों को दुरुस्त कर लेगा लेकिन मैं एक बात से अभी भी शक में हूँ शायद आप भी शक में होंगे क्योंकि इमरान खान ने जितने वादे किए थे अभी तक उन्होंने मॉडल टाउन का वादा किया था उन्होंने कहा था और ये मॉडल टाउन का जो खून है ये नवाज शरीफ पे भी कर था और ये अगर इमरान खान साहब इनको चौदह सौ अदा को इंसाफ ना दे सके इमरान खान ने उस यतीम बच्ची के सर पे हाथ रख के वादा किया था कि मैं इनको इंसाफ दिलाऊंगा जब ये रिपोर्ट ये पब्लिश करनी है तो इनको वो जो रिपोर्ट उनको भी इंसाफ अच्छा अभी मुझे शायद इतने ये मेरा दोस्त है अफ्ताब अली वो कह रहा है Try to get me to take cigarette sleeves for his friend in. I won't. That is for me. You know that I'm not drinking. I'm just drinking your coffee. Yes, yes. I'm not drinking. 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 I'm not तो वो यहाँ से फर्स्ट टाइम पाकिस्तान गई तो एयरपोर्ट पे उसका जो सारा जेवर था वो उसके हैंड बैग में था हैंड बैग से उन्होंने कहा कि आपका चेक करना है आप यकीन करें कि वो चेक करने में कितनी देर लगाते हैं वो बच्ची को साइड पे खड़ा किया जब वो गाड़ी में पहुंची है तो उसने देखा कि जी मेरा के सारे का सारा जेवर भाग है एक और बच्ची है ये हमारे ब्रेड फोर्ट की उन्होंने बाकायदा मुझसे रहा वो बच्ची अकेली आई है तो उसको पूरे रस्ते में वो कहती है कि जहाज खाली था काफी बहुत कम जगह थी कहती है कि बार बार जो मर्द थे वो 
सुशील भाई ये पूरे का पूरा इदारा बिगड़ा हुआ है हमें इस इदारे को दुरुस्त करना है और जब छह महीने की पाबंदी को मैं तो वेलकम करता हूँ इसलिए वेलकम करता हूँ कि ये इदारा बहुत बिगड़ चुका है इसको बाकी आपको रीजेनरेट करना है Muhammad yeah. Mudassir <laughs> Karak in no matter what you say people are still going to use them no matter what Bilkul jaye bilkul to dekhna ye koi badi baat nahi hai Nabi Kareem sallallahu alaihi wa sallam ke apne khasan walon ne unko nahi to ye koi baat nahi hai jinhone jo itni badi musibat dekh ke bhi apne bachon ko bhej sakte hain bheje bilkul bheje koi hum to awareness create kar rahe hain hum chahte hain ki positivity aaye hum पाकिस्तान के इस इदारे को मजबूत अच्छा ये मुझ रफीक पूछ रहा कि मेरा वाल साहब जो है वो कल जा रहे हैं पाकिस्तान डज इट मीन हिज फ्लाइट दिस इज हिज थर्ड कैलकुलेशन um again i think the confirmation is a reparation flights we're expecting a announcement from the civil aviation authority in the morning around 10 o'clock 10:30 is the meeting so i'm assuming 11 o'clock 12 o'clock we should have a decision but yeah if the then he he will be able to travel just check with your airline and maybe give the pia helpline a number a ring um okay let me just get through some shah sab kafi log dekh rahe hain mashallah um okay i won't say that thank you um sorry just going through this shah sab um so what if people can't get back on the third so i'm assuming there's a number of special flights after the special flights are finished then it'll be up to you to cancel your ticket pi ne to vaada kiya ki unko refund milega aur phir dobara phir aap kisi dusre airline se lekin emirates bhi cancel hue hain uh etihad bhi oman wale bhi gulf hai ye sab sab aapne in in kuch dino mein un sab ne cancel kiya to phir jo log bechare udh phas rahe hain kafi mahine se phase hain unko dekhne ka mushkil ho jayega na bhai ye bahut mushkil waqt aane wala hai pakistan ke liye ये जो आने वाले एटलीस्ट दो महीने क्योंकि प्रेशर बिल्ड होगा ये देखिएगा मेरा ख्याल है ये शायद छह महीने से पहले ही प्रेशर बिल्ड करके इमरान खान साहब को पता आपको जाती उनके रिलेशनशिप भी है यूरोपीय यूनियन से यूरोपीय यूनियन पे ट्रस्ट भी करती है लेकिन बात ये है कि दो तीन महीने जो है ये बड़े मुश्किल आने वाले हैं बहुत मुश्किल आने वाले हैं कि जिनमें वाकई मैं समझता हूँ जो लोग जहाँ जहाँ फंसे हुए हैं उन्हें दूसरी एयरलाइन का बंदोबस्त करना पड़ेगा मुझे पता चला है आज इंफॉर्मेशन मिली है कि कटर एयरलाइन जो है वो उन्होंने कहा जी कि हम जो अपनी फ्लाइट्स हैं वो जारी रखेंगे एमरेट्स ने रोकी हैं लेकिन कटर एयरलाइन जो है वो आगे देखे जा रही है मेरा ख्याल है लोगों को जल्दी बंदोबस्त करना चाहिए मैं भी प्लान बना रहा था कि मैं पाकिस्तान जाऊँ ये जब थोड़े से मामला ठंडे हों मैं कोशिश करूँ हो सकता है कि जो एयरलाइन के टिकट है वो बहुत ज्यादा हाई हो जाए तो मैं भी कोशिश करता हूँ कि मैं हालात खराब होने वाले हैं पाकिस्तान के लिए ये कोई अच्छा नहीं है क्योंकि ये किसी आम शख्स का बयान नहीं है ये एक जो ऑफिस में मिनिस्टर बैठा हुआ है सिटिंग मिनिस्टर का बयान है और इसको आप किसी तरीके से इग्नोर नहीं कर सकते बड़ा मुश्किल है ये ये तो आप बिल्कुल तो ना रखें लेकिन मेरा ख्याल कतर एयरलाइन से और आप ऑनलाइन पे चेक कर लें मेरा ख्याल दूसरी जो जो एमरेट्स है वो भी शायद उन्होंने ईद तक हो सकता है वो ना जाए हज परवाजे भी नहीं जा रही क्योंकि उन्होंने हज के लिए भी नहीं है तो वहां से कोई परवाजे आ नहीं रही तो ये शहाब गोरी साहब कह रहे हैं कि ब्रिटिश एयरवेज जो है वो भी फ्लाई नहीं कर रही है एमरेट्स भी सस्पेंडेड है इतिहाद भी सस्पेंडेड है गुल्फ एयरवेज ओमान टर्किश भी तो सिर्फ कतर आपने कहा कि कतर जो है वो चलेगी तो अभी तक नहीं किया और आज भी जो लोगों ने मुझसे रबते किए हैं तो मेरे एक दोस्त है एक्सपर्ट है वो बड़ा ट्रेवल एजेंट है तो उन्होंने यही कहा है कि हमें जो अभी तक इंफॉर्मेशन मिली है कि जो इनके एजेंट्स हैं उनसे ये मिली है 
कि अगर आपने सोच रहे हैं कि आप सितंबर में अगस्त में सितंबर में अक्टूबर में पाकिस्तान जाने का तो कतर आप कतर को पहले टिकट बुक करा लें लेकिन क्योंकि पॉसिबिलिटी है कि जब ये प्रेशर बढ़ेगा तो हो सकता है जब सारी फ्लाइट ना जाए तो ये जो टिकटें हैं ये भी बहुत ज्यादा महंगी हो जाए किधर गया जो कहता था ग्रीन पासपोर्ट नंबर वन हो जाएगा दिस इज द वे फॉरवर्ड ये ये वो है जो कहता था और उसी ने ये काम किया है देखिए ना इस तरीके से अगर आप लोगों के बच्चों को मारते रहेंगे हर जहाज पे जेली पायलट को बिठा के रखेंगे ये इमरान खान वायद बंदा है पाकिस्तान का मैं उसे बेशुमार इतना पा रहा बिल्कुल उसके साथ हूँ कि ये पहला बंदा है कि जो इन रिपोर्ट्स को सामने ला रहा है पहले तो ये होता था कि कभी जहाज गिर गया तो उसकी रिपोर्ट भी नहीं आती थी और आपको पता है एयर ब्लू जो गिरा है उसके मुतासन को आज तक वो जो इंश्योरेंस के पैसे हैं वो मरने वाले को रिश्तेदारों को पैसे भी नहीं मिले हुए वो सुप्रीम कोर्ट में तैतीस लोगों ने मुकदमा दर्ज किया वो जो मर गया तो उसके खानदान को ये इंश्योरेंस जो इंश्योरेंस होती है ये कंपनी पाकिस्तान की नहीं है ये इंटरनेशनल कंपनी है जिन्होंने इंश्योरेंस की थी तो उन्होंने पैसे खुद खा लिए जो हमारे माशाला सबका वजीर आजम थे शायद खाकान अबासी पाकिस्तान के ये उनकी एयरलाइन है जाती एयरलाइन उन्होंने मुकदमा चल रहे हैं ये शफीक भाई ये जो शख्स कहता था कि ग्रीन पासपोर्ट को इज्जत दूंगा फॉरवर्ड दिया है और आपको पता है कि जब जिसम से जान निकलती है तो जिसम एक दफा फड़फड़ाता है तो ये जो मुर्दा है ये जिसम से जान निकल रही है लेकिन इन शाह लाइन मेरा ख्याल है छह महीने से एक साल में ये मेरा ख्याल है मामला सही हो जाएंगे अगर नहीं हुआ नहीं हुआ तो उसका तो कोई जवाब नहीं है लेकिन ये मेरा ख्याल है नहीं इसका मैं आपको बताऊं क्यों मैं कह रहा हूँ इसके पीछे लॉजिक है कि जब छह महीने आपका कारोबार नहीं चलेगा जब आपको तनख्वाह पास से देनी पड़ेंगी और नौ हजार से ज्यादा दस हजार से ज्यादा लोग बैठे हुए हैं जो जिन आपने एक्स्ट्रा लोग रखे हुए हैं तो इनको आप गवर्नमेंट पे प्रेशर बिल्ड होगा और जब प्रेशर बिल्ड होगा तो मेरा ख्याल है इसको अब उन्होंने हर सूरत में दुरुस्त करना ही करना है मेरा ख्याल है छह महीने या छह महीने तो में एक साल तक मेरा जाती तौर पे ख्याल है अगर इमरान खान हुकूमत में रहता है तो मेरा ख्याल है ये इदारा बहुत बेहतर होगा अच्छा इन शाह सो मच शाह साहब आपकी जियारत हो गई है जैसे लोग कह रहे हैं कि हम आपको मिस कर रहे हैं मैं क्या मैं भी शाह साहब को मिस कर रहा हूँ मैं बड़ी देर से था लेकिन वो आप मुझे देख नहीं पा रहे थे मैं बड़ी देर से बस मैं अपने क्या कहते हैं अपना जोश में था कि मैं आपको मुबारकबाद पेश करता हूँ आप हमें जो अहम टॉपिक्स हैं जो डायरेक्ट लोगो से रिलेटेड होते हैं शफीक भाई मुझे आप इसकी भी ज्यादा पसंद है की आप वो लकीर के फकीर नहीं है जो अगर किसी की जिंदगी के साथ कुछ खेल रहा है तो आप बिल्कुल उसको कभी भी सपोर्ट नहीं कर राइटली डिसीजन लिया है इस वक्त ऑनलाइन आने का भी और लोगों की भी राय है तो आपका भी बहुत शुक्रिया अल्लाह ताला आपको सलामत दो में याद रखना थैंक यू सो मच एवरीवन कमरान पी दादा साहब यू नो हिम यू सी हिम ऑन माय चैनल इंशाल्लाह ही विल बी ऑन द स्क्रीन वेरी वेरी सून आई डोंट आई डोंट थिंक ही इज हैविंग अ ब्रेक एज वी ऑल हैव बट ही विल बी बैक इन द फील्ड इंशाल्लाह एंड जजाक अल्लाह टू शाह एंड टू एवरीबॉडी एल्स सो इफ यू गॉट एनी मोर क्वेश्चंस प्लीज